Right, let's uh, take a look at some business news now. Following a public outcry, Cabinet is considering expanding the list of basic foodstuffs exempted from value-added tax, or VAT. Former Finance Minister Malusi Gigaba announced that the VAT increased in from 14 to 15 percent in his budget that he presented it's last week. The, the VAT adjustment, the first in 25 years, was roundly rejected by members of the public, civil society, labor federations and political parties, slammed as an attack on the working class and the poor. And Cabinet has responded to the outcry. Part of what we would be doing um, is to further explain, explain the issue of VAT precisely because of how it has also been presented to an extent where it created a lot of confusion. Secondly, it is about getting feedback from South African citizens to say, let's look at other issues, things that are beyond the control of the most vulnerable. Our central While cabinet is vague about the expanded zero-rated list, Kosatu has a few suggestions. We demand all food items, including water and electricity, to be zero-rated. We have made our submission to Parliament on the budget yesterday. And if we do not get any positive results or positive response, we'll mobilize <coughs> workers for a strike against the VAT increase. Many raise their concerns about the increase. I think it will unfairly burden the poor, and I think there should be an attempt to minimize its application. As long as they're actually using it for what they should be using it for, then it could be a good thing. VAT increase is ridiculous, shouldn't even be there. If the VAT was the same for over, what, 25 years, why now is it increasing? Kosaitu has threatened to mobilize workers if the demands are not met. Serious fights were led in the early 90s against the VAT increase. So we are reminding our government, lest they were forgetting about that particular issue. You're playing with fire on this one. 19 basic food items are zero rated. Montlingani de Poco, SBC News, Johannesburg.